whatever you do, don't allow your life to be controlled by these three things I'm about to share with you in a moment. But just before I do, I'm gonna share with you something very personal with you inside it because it'll help you to really understand exactly why you're gonna let go of these three things. I just gotten back from our family trip away in Seoul, South Korea, and that's where I'm originally from. And on one of our first days there, we had to visit the cemetery. The reason why is our uncle has recently been buried there as he passed away from cancer. And last year was vis visiting Seoul, South Korea was visiting the same cemetery again and that was because our aunt had been buried there because she committed suicide and I think one of the most hardest wake-up calls that we can ever have as human beings to understand how fragile this thing we call life really is when you truly understand how it can be gone at any moment you realize how you are essentially free to do what you truly want to do and how time is ticking we don't have long. And that's why I want you to really pay close attention to this in terms of these three things that you must never be controlled by in your life. If you want to truly create a life that's worth living, the first thing is seeking approval and validation from other people. And so the question I want to ask you quickly right now is who are you seeking validation from? I'm not asking you, are you? I'm asking who is that person? Because deep inside, if you really look, you realize there is somebody you're trying to prove you're worth to. And if that is the current game you're playing, you realize that you'll make decisions for other people based upon other people. And you'll never be making decisions that's truly in line with the thing you're born to do, the life you're born to live. In fact, Brony Ware, who carried out studies with people who had just a couple weeks left to live, noticed how there were just common themes in terms of their biggest regrets. One of their biggest regrets they kept on saying over and over again was in regards to how they wish they would have lived life for themselves and not for other people. They wish they would have pursued careers that they wanted to fulfill and master, not what they, their parents said. And so, so important if you want to create life on your terms, that you let go of the need to prove to others that you're good enough. The chances of you being born, just to put all of this into perspective, is 400 trillion to one. And you show up. You're born good enough. You don't need the outer world to prove to you that you can do this. Do this for yourself. Get clear in terms of exactly the gift that you've been blessed with and do it for yourself. The moment that you do that, you are free. This is called emotional freedom. And you get to that place in life where you're truly living life for your, your values. And that's how you can create a life that you don't need to escape from. So I want you to really think about this today. Who are you seeking validation from? And I want you to make a decision to let it go. Let go of this need to be validated from other people. Nobody will love you as much as you can love yourself. And that's why you got to truly begin to own you. The second thing that you should never allow your life to be controlled by is essentially your over anxious brain. It's important that you understand that your brain is not designed to make you successful. It is not designed to make you happy. It's got one primary function, which is what? To keep you safe. That's right. Your brain is designed to help you to survive. And that's why we all have got this over anxious bodyguard in our mind. And you know that, that voice, that little voice, that is the survival part of your brain. And that's why whenever you wanna do something that's bold, something that's outside of your comfort zone, what is your brain normally saying? What if it goes wrong, right? And let me ask you, if you were to continue to listen to that inner critic in your mind, are you gonna be holding back your greatness? You bet. And that's why you got to take control of your life. Your brain is a tool. Don't allow your brain to use you, control you. Most people in life, they're kind of letting go of the steering wheel, not knowing that their survival brain is taking control. And it's literally like, kind of like an electric car you may have seen, like you can let go of the steering wheel and it's on autopilot. And if you aren't careful, you will be in autopilot all the way up to your, your deathbed. And that's when you'll be full of regrets because you realize, where am I? Why did I even get myself here? So take control of your life. Instead of asking yourself, 
What if it goes wrong? Ask yourself today, what if it goes right? And how will it transform your life when it does work? Take control of your mind. Use your brain. Don't allow your brain to use you. Because there are millions of reasons in terms of why something can go wrong. But you have to put everything into perspective and realize your brain, if it isn't controlled, is just going to control your life and you're always going to be stuck in your safe zone, never really stepping out of your comfort zone and making something bold or big happen that you truly want. Because everything in life, remember, involves risk if it's truly worth it. And so you've got to begin to really take control as of today. Now, the final thing, which I've kind of hinted, the third thing that you, you should never allow your life to be controlled by is essentially the need to be safe and secure. If you want safety and security right now, you might as well literally lock your bedroom, sit in a corner room, put a quilt over your head and just have somebody feed you every day. Do that every day. That, that should be your life. Now, you may be thinking, Tim, that's a boring life. Exactly. Playing it safe, making it secure, or optimizing your life for security is one boring life. Let me ask you, would you ever go to the cinema with a friend? And once you are literally sat there and the movie is about to begin, would you ever turn around to your friend and say, Hey friend, I I wish this movie is really boring. Of course not. What would make a good movie for you? The movie needs to be full of the ups and the downs, the excitement, the lows and the highs, right? You need to see the main character being shaped by the winds of life, being tested. And that's what makes you walk out of the cinema saying, wow, that was a beautiful movie. So you want to really think about how can I create this beautiful life? And it definitely doesn't happen from sitting in your freaking comfort zone. It happens from you taking risks. And like it or not, life is one risky game because nobody at the end of the day makes it out alive. Really think about that. Life is a risky game. And if anything, the biggest risk in life is doing nothing at all because you're going to get to the end of your life full of regrets. So put everything to context here. The fears that you're currently saying, oh, I wish I could do this. Oh, but I'm too scared. Really put it into context because once you realize it's all going to be gone anyways, how you're born with nothing and you're going to die with nothing, you quickly realize I got to make the most of the precious life that I've been blessed with. Do whatever it takes. I just wish out of however many people is watching this video, just just one of you just listening and just going to take action on this. Don't get to the end of your life full of regrets. That's what I wish for you. Let me know in the comments box below in terms of what are you, what is the one biggest reminder that you had today? By affirming in the comments box below, you're more likely to take action on it. It's called a micro commitment. And be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And as always, follow your heart and take action.